Good morning all my Facebook friends. It's Anne Murphy here from Domesplicity going live. Um, this is my first time doing it so um, bear with me while I um, I just took a couple of minutes to try and work out how to do it so I've never done it before. Um, if you want to grab a cup of tea and or cu a cup of coffee and, and join me for a couple of minutes while we have a bit of a chat, I've just made a cup of coffee. I've not long got in the house. I've been I've just dropped the children off at school at 8.30 and then did a mad um, dash to one of the op shops in my um, suburb. Um, and then Spotlight, which is like um, the equivalent of Joanne's or Michael's in America. But um, it's book week here in Australia and that always means a last minute um, dash to try and get costumes done for the children this year my son is going as Ash Ketchum from Pokemon which he did last year and he just wears clothes from his wardrobe so that's easy to do but my daughter has um, always tried to um, find really obscure book characters or cartoon characters so it makes my job really difficult but before I tell you about that I just wanted to tell you a little bit about me um, I live in Brisbane Australia and I live about 22 kilometers southeast of um, Brisbane city itself and we live in a pretty nice part of Brisbane it's close to um, the sea or not really the ocean but um, near the water anyway so we um, get a beautiful sea breeze in the summer so it's always a couple degrees cooler than Brisbane itself. I'm married to Damien um, who's still here at home. He's got to race out and do a small job for his work um, today but then I'm going to be batching it for the rest of the week or for a couple of days this week because he has to go interstate for work. So um, as much as I'll miss him it'll be nice and quiet. Um, I've got two children, as most of you might know. I've got a 12-year-old daughter and a 10-year-old son. They'll both be um, 13 and 11 in November this year. And my daughter's at high school. Um, I've got two sisters, a sister who's a year and eight days younger than me. She lives in... Um, she, she lives about two hours north of Brisbane married with two children I don't get to see her very much and then I've got a another sister who's four years younger than me and um, she lives in the family home that um, when mum passed away she she took over the house so she she lives where I grew up in Brisbane and she's a nurse at the Royal Brisbane Hospital and works really hard and is single and yeah, she's pretty good. I don't get to see her very much either. But anyway, um, yeah, so this week is book week. And it's a great initiative, I think, for children to um, increase their love of books and um, celebrate the joy of reading. And my kids are both avid readers. But like I said with my daughter, I remember her first year of school, she wanted to go as Dorothy from A Wizard of Oz and she, I managed to have some blue and white gingham fabric in the stash and um, in the fabric stash and I whipped her up a, a Dorothy dress and she went off as that but then it just got more obscure and more obscure. The next year she wanted to go as a winter fairy welcoming spring so that was a little bit out there and then it's just got worse so this year she wants to go as Domo, so just got the rubbish, rubbish truck being collected, uh, rubbish being collected, noisy. So this year, even though she's at high school, they are still celebrating um, book week and she, she was telling me that she managed to see some aspiring um, Brisbane new Brisbane author I can't remember the woman's name but her book was 
is called Night. One of her famous books is called Night Swimming, but I just can't remember the author's name. And she got to meet her in school last week. So um, my daughter's always she's very clever. She's always writing her own stories and drawing her own illustrations and things like that. And she's been um, she could read since she was about four. So she's quite clever in in that regard. But I don't know if you've ever heard of Domo. Like I don't know what Ordomo is or where he's from but this is um, a backpack that she has of Domo and I believe he's a Japanese cartoon character and I don't know don't know his story or what he does but that's what she wants to go dressed as like seriously so Friday afternoon after school we went running around to all the um, well three of the op shops that are in my area and we managed to find a brown skirt so it had to be something brown so this was the brown skirt that we picked up for a couple of dollars but how hard is it to find a brown t-shirt like I was sort of thinking maybe in women's fashion there might have been a chocolate t-shirt chocolate colored you know it's quite a fashionable color but no we went to Kmart we went to Target we went to Big W we went to every um, woman's fashion store we went to every men's store and this morning like I said after I dropped the kids off I went to um, the last of the op shops in our area and no there wasn't anything <coughs> pardon me for coughing I've still got a bad cough after um, the um, bad cold that I had a couple weeks ago so I'm just having a sip of coffee so my last resort was spotlight and it was so packed this morning i couldn't even get a car park everyone was at spotlight this morning so it seemed so there was every possible shade of brown fabric i was going to make her some kind of just plain t-shirt and no i couldn't find any um, shade of brown that looked, resembled anything like this so i've resorted to good old um, fabric dye and because she, she does have a plain white t-shirt in her cupboard that's now in the washing machine with the load of whites that I didn't get round to doing on Saturday Wednesday and Saturday are my washing days um, I do wash other days if I need to but I try and stick to those two days of the week um, because it's just a routine that I've got into and I um, try to make sure that the washing's folded on those days I don't on my washing days I don't try to plan too much else because I, I hate ha not having the washing folded so I don't want to put too much pressure on myself so I'm about to um, try and dye this white t-shirt for her because of course tomorrow is her book week parade and um, like anything with her it's always the last minute and it's always changing her mind so that's what we're here for we're here to please so I'll try my hardest to please her and get this brown t-shirt dyed for her uh, as far as the rest of the day goes I've got to be mindful of the time because I've once I finish this I've got to jump in the shower and um, get up to my son's school and take him to an appointment a specialist doctor's appointment then come back um, probably have some lunch and then it won't be long to, um, until I have to go and pick them up from school again and like I said, the rest of the week will be quiet because the children will go to their fathers tonight um, and my husband will be away for a couple of days this week. So it'll just be me and the dogs. If you don't know it, I'm a dog lover. I have two dogs, one little mini foxy called Bonnie and she's 16 and she'll be 17 in January. And as much as she's sort of getting a bit old and can't get up and down the stairs or um, you know feels the cold weather with her, her arthritis and everything she comes alive at night time and uh, races around the house and pretends she's a puppy so as long as she keeps doing that I'll, I'll be happy because I'll be a sad sad day when she goes she's been a big part of my life and then we've also got Willie and he's a miniature pincher and he's um, 14 years old and he's a pretty cool guy he just sort of 
moseys around and he loves roast chicken and any food basically so he's a little bit overweight we've got two birds we've got two cockatiels pebbles and bam bam and cockatiels are a really um really cool bird they're in an aviary and um i've got to tell you my husband he's pretty tall and skinny and he can get in this in and out this aviary door um pretty quickly to feed them and i thought i'd bought them some new bird toys so i thought oh i'll be right i'll be able to get into in and out of the aviary really quickly well i kind of squeezed in and little pebble she got um hey claire how are you um claire's my friend in tasmania and um her and i have known each other i don't know claire how long about six or seven years amelia actually asked me the other day how long we'd known each other we're sort of like online dating friends but we have met each other in person but we talk every day she's a she's a mad foodie like me and um She's actually just started up her own um, blog again and uh, Facebook page. You should check her out. It's called Taz Food Stories. Nine years, serious. Oh, my God. Are we having an anniversary for the 10th year? <laughs> so, um, yeah, Taz Food Stories. And she's going to be, or she has been reviewing a lot of um, really cool foodie places and cafes and restaurants in and around um, Hobart so if you travel down to Hobart or you are in Tasmania no worries um, if you are in Hobart you'll um, find her Facebook page good value to um, find out some really cool reviews she's an excellent cook and an excellent baker as well but like most of us we chocolate cheese and wine as well exactly exactly um she's um she works part time and um they're renovating their house and as much as we'd like to make all these fancy cakes and biscuits every day because we love to do it we just don't get time so um but i just wanted to oh hello my husband's watching hello my husband <laughs> he's downstairs make me another coffee Hello, husband. Um, yeah, so um, before I, I go into a lot of home hints and recipes and um, cooking and uh, just saving money tips, I don't want to um, overburden you with my, my first Facebook Live episode. Hey, Terry Ann, how are you? Hope you enjoyed your trip in Tasmania. I saw you were down there. Um, we Terry Ann, I know from a, a craft weekend workshop that we went to, and we've been meaning to catch up for ages. She's way over on the north side of town, so one of these days we'll catch up again. Um, yeah, so what I I don't want to overburden you with a whole lot of information today or anything. That's why I want to sort of make this a regular thing every Monday just to tell you a little bit of um, my life and how the things that I do might help you to save money or just to be more efficient in the home. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my theory on saving money and, and what I do. Um, I don't save money. Like when I think about saving, it's not like I, oh, great, Terry ann Yeah, definitely. We'll catch up soon. There's got to be some sort of craft workshop coming up that we we need um, to get to. We'll make time for it. Yeah, so saving money. Um, I stick to a budget. I don't have it written down or anything like that. I just know the same amount comes out each fortnight for my mortgage and my bills and everything like that. But I don't have a huge um, goal to pay off any debts. I don't have any debts other than my mortgage, which is manageable. Um, and I don't aim to save hundreds or thousands of dollars each year. I don't have savings goals. But what I do is just try and cut back on the spending in the the normal household expenses. So 
if I can cut back on say groceries I will I, I don't want to sacrifice the type of food we're eating like we all, we all love food except my fussy daughter but that's another story um, I like cooking I love baking I love eating nice tasting food so I won't um, I'll try and find ways of of making do with basic ingredients I usually only buy home brand um, ingredients I shop at Coles I've been shopping at the same Coles supermarket in my suburb. I know where everything is. I just keep a well-stocked pantry so that we can eat whatever we like, whenever we like, uh, just with the food that my family eats. And I cut back on other areas of spending. So if you think of, just think of a couple of things like hairdressing. You know, I can't remember. Well, the last time I went to the hairdressers was for my wedding, and that cost some ridiculous amount of money, but I... I know it um, it needed to be done with my hair and makeup. I'm not one to wear makeup, but um, I dye my own hair. You know, for the cost of twelve dollars for my hair colour, I buy that when it's on special. Or I've always cut the children's hair. My ex-husband he um, shaves my um, son, gives my son a number two with the clippers, and then I might trim my daughter's hair. But she had a haircut the other day. There's hairdressing, there's, um, you know, making your own uh, home, you know, making your own cleaners for, for your house or buying home brand washing detergent. You know, they're, they're all little things that you can um, cut back on. And the reason why I do cut back on a lot of those things or, you know, finding these op shop things for my daughter's book week costume or, my, or making do with things like that. It's just an area that where you can save save money on that that type of um, outlay, so that you have got money for other things. Like I've just purchased this morning um, tickets for Australia Zoo. Australia Zoo is um, on the Sunshine Coast, um, where Steve Irwin set up the the zoo, um, and it's a really cool place. But we haven't been there for a lot of years. And the children are coming on to into school holidays in a couple of weeks' time. So uh, it cost me about $146. If you're looking for cheap... Um, hi, Mimi. How are you? Um, if you're looking for cheap tickets for Australia Zoo, there's 10% off with a Groupon voucher. That's G-R-O-U-P-O-N dot com um, Groupon. I don't know if it's dot com or dot com dot au, but uh, it cost about $150 for four tickets and that was a good deal so yeah things like that um my husband and I like to go away um to the beach often um you know I like French perfume I like um I like lots of things but I guess if I'm not spending money well then the money's just sitting there in the bank and then when we do feel like doing something well we can go and do it or instead of buying takeaway meals I'd rather spend ten dollars on say some crumb chicken and frozen chips from the supermarket instead of spending fifty dollars at hungry jacks or mcdonald's so that's that's some of the things that i do um to spend money uh, to save money my i'm ha having a um office makeover at the moment i've sort of got this area downstairs that i've just been making do with my we've found an old desk or an old table really um that I've been using for in my office space, but I want it to be an office space. <coughs> Pardon me, let's have another sip of coffee. Um, I wanted it to be an office space and a craft space. So my husband built me a custom made desk or table just on the weekend. He's got to finish painting it today. So when that's finished, I I'll um, show you that, but it's not costing us anything. So, you know, we could have gone and gone to IKEA or any of the furniture stores and, um, you know, bought a whole new desk and I've got a chair. But we're just making do, and it's just money that we don't need to spend, so that we can do the things we want. So that's like I still buy packaged biscuits if if they're on special. You know, the kids like packaged biscuits. I might buy a cake if it's 
on sale if it's been marked down. So I'm not this person that swears by everything being homemade or made from scratch and, you know, growing your own fruit and vegetables. It's just not worth me doing it, you know, for the time and effort that I would spend growing my own vegetables just to save a bit of money because my daughter doesn't need it. My fun, son's a bit fussy when it comes to vegetables. My husband and I eat all sorts of vegetables, but, you know, if I buy two zucchinis and two capsicum and two kilos of potatoes per fortnight and some frozen vegetables, that's going to be sufficient enough for us instead of me growing a whole heap of, say, zucchinis and then no one eats it. So that's just um, some of the 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 things that we do here but um, I also wanted to, to remind you that if you haven't entered I've got a um, giveaway on my website at the moment domusblicity.com where um, in conjunction with my um, Norwex consultant my new Norwex consultant which happens to be an old friend <clears throat> she's just been um, demonstrating Norwex recently and she um, put the word out was anyone interested in having a, a party so I did have a party a couple of weeks ago because I do love um, chemical free cleaning I've been doing it long before I um, long before I before Nor Norwex was around I just find that it's beneficial for our health and it saves a lot of money buying all those chemical cleaners so I had this party and then we just got talking about it and I thought well before we got talking, I said to Nikki um, that I was planning on doing a spring clean. I hadn't done a full spring clean of my house <coughs> for a couple of years now. So um, for the entire month of September, I'm going to be popping in and out with posts on Facebook or Instagram on spring cleaning my house. And I'm really lucky, lucky I guess being the operative word, that the children will be on holidays, school holidays, throughout um, September, so they'll be able to help me. So I don't know if it will really help me or whether it will be causing me more grief. But anyway, getting back to the, um, getting back to the, <coughs> pardon me for coughing. I'm going to. I've got this giveaway going on on the website for a. Uh, Norwex starting startup spring cleaning kit so it's got a few basic products in there and some Norwex microfiber cloths which are super super um, fantastic to clean with because you only need water and if you um, are around in September and you want to spring clean your home I'll show you just how fantastic some of those products are and just some handy hints on on how to make the job easier I as much as I like having a nice, clean, tidy home, um, sometimes I put the blinkers on and, you know, don't see the cobwebs in the corner of the ceiling or the dust on top of the ceiling fan. It's all about spending quality time with your family and I don't want to be a slave to the home, but I do, I am a little bit fussy when it comes to um, having a clean home and since the children have um, come along, I've become a little bit... Um, less focused on the house and more focused on them but, but I want to instill in them some good values for them keeping a clean home as well so I'll be teaching them how to do that so I'll be going from top to bottom and if you want to grab some uh, Norwex cleaning products enter the competition on my, my website and uh, that will be drawn midnight um, this Friday so they'll be posted to you wherever you are in Australia and I'm sorry that it's only open to Australian residents um, I'd like to have some more giveaways where I can open it up worldwide and um, send them out to my um, Facebook friends throughout the world so that's about it for today I've got to jump in the shower and go and pick my son up and do a mad dash Thank you very much for joining me, everybody. It's so good to see you, and I um, hope to see you all again next Monday where, I don't know what I'll be talking about. Oh, while I was at Spotlight, I've seen it. I've seen it on Amazon, and <coughs> I think in some ads that have just popped up in my feed. I don't know if anyone's ever tried it, but it's called um, 
Grandma's Secret Spot Remover. And it was at Spotlight this morning. It was only about six, it was six dollars or eight dollars. Eight dollars. I don't know if any of you have um, children who paint at school. When they were young, at least they could wear a smock or an old T-shirt. Well, now that my daughter's too cool for school, for high school, she loves art and she loves painting, but they don't wear smocks or um, anything to protect their clothes. And her clothes are covered in paint, her school uniform. And I've tried methylated spirits. I've tried rubbing alcohol. I've tried... Uh, fingernail polish remover, uh, just all of the the uh, recommendations that I found on uh, on the internet when I googled. But when I saw this, it claims to um, remove oil, grease, paint, makeup, grass, clay, inks, blood, baby formula, tar, spaghetti sauce, coffee, rust, betadine turmeric, fabric, bleed, pet stains, most any kind of stain, it works. So, wish me luck. I'll report back next week and hopefully she'll have some paint-free clothes. And wish me luck on getting this t-shirt, white t-shirt dyed with brown dye and hopefully I won't have any um, fabric dye anywhere else except where it should be. If if I do, I'll I'll get rid of it with this. Bye bye, Terry. See you see you soon. And thank you for joining me. And I'll catch you next week. And stay tuned for the winner of the um, spring cleaning kit. Bye for now. See ya.